Welcome to Ham Radio QRP. Today we look at letters that contain all dits and the words that they begin and how to practice for those. There are some letters that are just pesky. Letters with lots of dits and words that start with letters that are all dits are really hard to get right. So there are some letters that you're going to have trouble with and those are letters that have all dits. For instance an E is one dit. An I two dits. An S three dits. An H four dits. And a five. Five dits. So when you hear words that start with letters that contain only dits at least for me, that was some of the hardest head copy to learn. Because there are some words, especially words that are made up of all dits, that um, will just throw you off as you're learning Morse code. Just the word he. That's all dits. Or she. It's all dits. So when you hear these sorts of words and your brain gets thrown for a loop because you're just hearing a bunch of dits in a row, you just have to sort of train yourself to calm down a bit. So words that begin with letters that are easily recognizable, uh, say, you know, like a Y that begins the word U, although rarely would you spell out Y-O-U in Morse code, you would just send a U, but That's easy to hear because that that Y is very recognizable. Um, an L is very recognizable. So a word that begins with uh, an L, even if it has the remaining of the characters containing only dits, like the word less, is still easy to recognize because that L gets your mind ready for a word that begins with an L and um, it just smooths things out. But when a word begins with dits, um, and many words begin with SH, right? So what I started practicing was listening for SH. Okay, so when you hear that, that needs to be just as recognizable as an L, right? So I would encourage you to practice listening just for that did it it did it it sound to key your brain that here comes a word that's starting with shh, because there's not going to be a terrible number of uh, words like that and it'll keep you from getting thrown off by hearing these um, these SH words. Similarly, words that begin with an H like he don't let hearing that H throw you off. H could begin a word like help. H often begins a laugh in Morse code. People will sometimes send an H and two dits. Or they might just send hi. So that's a laugh in Morse code. Again, don't let the words that start with a bunch of dits throw you off. Practice hearing SH sounds and the H sound. Just get used to that sound and don't panic when you hear a bunch of dits in a row. So, lastly, I would recommend you use something like lcwo.net, learncwonline.net, 
and create some words for practice that just repeat those sounds or just alternate being able to pick out I's, S's, H's, and 5's. And alternate between them. Make sure you can pick them out. And then don't freak out when you hear words that begin with a lot of dits. Lastly, I'd like to leave you with uh, a great thing to practice. She is 55 and is his sister. It's all dits except for the T and part of the R. Enjoy.